Immediately after Harvey made landfall, members of our local churches, in concert with our conference disaster ministries, went to work in their local neighborhoods. Our churches served as evacuation shelters, sometimes in cooperation with American Red Cross and sometimes on their own. They served as housing sites for volunteer teams and points of distribution for the supplies that poured in from private donations. We're encountering clients who are still living in mold-infested homes, who have chronic medical needs that are not being met, and who have either received no or insufficient assistance from government agencies. We are projecting funding and we are budgeting for a minimum of three years of long-term recovery efforts, though we know that's probably gonna grow into five or six. Welfare and well-being of the most vulnerable amongst us is, always has been, and always will be the highest priority for the United Methodist Church. 